So now we have uh, an ocean. Laurent Giaiminier, the CEO of an ocean. Welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Yen. So does this clicker work finally? Yes. Good. OK. Uh, good afternoon, Laurent Giaiminier. So uh, CEO of an ocean. So six months in the job. Uh, spent the last 20 years at Texas Instruments. Uh, I heard uh, some of the CEO before uh, saying that they come from corporation. That's my case. Spent the last five years running um, a post startup uh, business because I was running the business of uh, Chipcon in Norway, which TI acquired in, uh, in 2005. Uh, I've done that. This was the, the word of uh, low power wireless. That's what I've been doing uh, for Texas Instruments. And I took the challenge six months ago to join an ocean uh, to basically do no power or or no battery wireless. Uh, if I simplify and tell you what uh, an ocean is about in two words, no wires, no battery. That would be the simplification of our business, and I have 10 minutes or 12 uh, to, uh, to, convince about, uh, to convince you about the business. So we combine, indeed, uh, three elements or three DNAs, and that's what the business is about. We combine a good mastering process of energy harvesting techniques, so we know how to master piezo, we know how to master electromechanical, PV, and thermoelectricity. But not only we do that, we also deal with very, very little energy, because whatever we harvest, we harvest in a very small factor uh, PV, so we won't have a lot of energy. So one of the DNA of the company is to deal with very little and to do a lot with this very little energy. And finally, to do a no battery, no wire solution, you need to add some techniques of uh, wireless communication, and you need to have a robust wireless communication. So this is kind of, in a sense, the DNAs of, uh, of an ocean, and that's what we're using uh, in the green building. And that's, you, you may think, why electronic and uh, clean tech, why electronic and green building. So what we're doing with this is proposing this technology to a lot of customers, and we have about 100 customers worldwide leveraging already of the uh, Notion technology uh, in different regions of the world. And those customers have created a, already 850 products whole interoperable to each other. And this is a key word, I would say, on that presentation. A Notion standard is about interoperability. And this is really one of the unique selling propositions uh, when it comes as a standard for ultra low power wireless solution. So as I said, we are doing a lot of business already in a building. Why? Because building, when you think of where is the energy consumed, the building is a big part of that. 40, 41% of the energy today is consumed in building. So this was one of the first pillars that Enocean focused on, and in the, it's, a, it's a start of, of 10 years. So some of you, they booed me yesterday when I said 10 years. So it's a 10-year startup. So we kind of a, a big startup, I would say, but we're still in the phase where we need to grow. And that's why, uh, right, why I'm very basically that's, uh, telling you the story of growth of, of Enocean. So the building pillar was picked originally because this is the uh, obvious place where this technology of no battery, no wire, can bring a sense. Uh, we uh, effectively, you know, buildings need sensors. Uh, building, uh, have, there is a part of building that are for retrofit and part that are for, uh, for new building. The no battery, no wires, in fact, service both market. The retrofit, because effectively no wire, will allow us uh, to, uh, to uh, help the building user to make their building greener, uh, and no battery, this is another good selling proposition for building owner because once they would have choose a solution based on an ocean, they won't have to come again to it. They won't have to change the battery. They won't have to do the repairing of the device. Uh, repairing, I mean pairing the device, the, the, the transceiver that talks to the, to the receiver. So this is basically the value proposition that people in the building appreciate from our customers in the an ocean ecosystem. So effectively, to green or to, to save money, and uh, in the context of a building, you can do several things. Uh, you can change the envelope, and you can spend a lot of money changing the window, changing a lot of things, and make your business more or less 
uh, less calorific, but this is a big this is a big investment, and the payroll or the payback, sorry, would be uh, would be more in the five to ten years. Uh, installing a software, we've talked about software management before, it's also a good solution, but I mean the payback is more in the zero to five and probably in the 30% return on investment. Uh, the device and putting thermostat presence detector key card holder uh, on a wireless manner has a quicker payback and, and a, very, uh, a very importance on the saving you can make. So that's uh, typically the type of product that our customer do. So they do present detector with our technology, they do occupancy sensor, they do thermostat, they do wall switches, so a switch that you would have on the wall that would have no wires and no battery. Sounds appealing. Uh, so this technology is enabled by the module or by the electronic that we put at their disposal. So basically the, the value proposition for the building owner is saving, quick return on investment, because if it's in retrofit, I mean, quickly they can get this system working. We've got, um, we've got customers of our customers that uh, use a term that I, uh, I like, to be honest. I was told that story by uh, a company that is equipping hotel in North America uh, in the retrofit, so not new hotels, but existing hotel, and they pretend to clean a room quicker than they green a room. So to put the context, put that in context, they put three devices, a key card holder, a presence detector additionally, and a, um, sorry, a key card holder, a presence detector, and a PTAC setback, something that would put back the, the HVAC in the room to a normal temperature, to a normal tem temperature when the, the user is at breakfast or when he leaves the room. They put those three devices in 10 to 20 minutes. And it takes up to an hour to change and do the complete, an hour and a half even, to do the complete bedding and to, to do the complete greening uh, of an hotel room. So they effectively green a room quicker than they clean a room. Now that's their value proposition, and I thought it was, a, it was an interesting concept from an hotel owner. So those are the type of device that our customers do with our technology. What we provide them is on the next slide. Basically, this is modules that entered into those devices. So we're not a company doing the device ourselves. We do those modules, those brick of technology that, um, that companies in the field of thermostat, presence detector, wall switch, uh, are producing based on, uh, on our technology. So that's, uh, that tells you a little bit about the notion and the type of uh, product. So as you can see on the chart, we, have, we combine electromechanical, we combine uh, PV, and we also do boosters with this device, or low-power DC-DC step-up converters, so we're going to go in electronic now for a second. But what basically this technology allows is that we take a very, very simple Peltier element, the low form or the, the cheapest form of a Peltier element, and by boosting the, the, the voltage, we are able, with one of our products, to actionate a micro-motor and change a valve and put a valve on and off. So if you think of a thermostat, and a radiator, you can have the radiator now with a system like that that would switch off and off uh, based on the, eventually the, the window that is above him. So you open the window and the radiator would switch off to the position or gel, for instance, to speak in a, in a few words of French. Uh, and when the, you will close the window again, the radiator will come to the temperature you've chosen. No wires, no battery. So mastering that element of micro or Peltier element and mastering that, doing boosting the, temp the voltage up to uh, the possibility of uh, managing a valve, this is the type of thing that an ocean is enabling. We are the only standard for this type of application. There is a lot of different standards. You may have heard of, oh, sorry, you may have heard a lot of different wireless standards. There is only one standard that allows to do these things with no battery. We are working right now to make these, uh, this solution a standard. As I said, we have a 10 years history, and we built in 10 years an ecosystem of 250 members and more than 100 OEM building products, themselves building about uh, 1,000 or 850 specifically <laughs> products based on our technology. And we did that within our scope, I would say, between by controlling a lot the value chain because most of the technology was coming from an ocean. What we're doing now is that we're putting a certain part of this in a public domain, allowing new newcomers to develop as well radio that would understand the ocean telegrams. 
We are uh, an, an alliance. We have created an alliance of customers. And today, as I said, we have more than 250 members in this alliance. So it's a non-profit organization. The company is a profit organization. The alliance is a non-profit organization. It's the alliance of our customers. It's the alliance that defends this unique selling proposition that I mentioned before of interoperability. It's about 250 customers that fight that an ocean remains a, a unique selling proposition of interoperability, a standard of no battery, no wires for the building and for other applications. So I talked a little bit about the, the different uh, uh, wireless standards, but as you can see on this chart, an ocean stands for no battery. So you have other standards. You have uh, Wi-Fi, you have Bluetooth, you have Zigbee, you have a lot of different things, even in a 15.4 environment. But the Enocean standard for, stands for no battery. Wireless, no wires, no battery. Through the journey, we've done different things. And we started in, to, I mean, the company was established in 2001. But we started in 2003 first with really the lighting, the wall switch. And some of you told me at the break that they, they've seen, they touch, they have some at home of this wall switch that are no battery, no wire. That's really where the company started. But from then, we started to master the shutter control. We started to master the HVAC or the air conditioning. We moved on later on to the transportation uh, industry. And uh, I have one in my pocket. But I mean, we do, we allow people to do bus stop in bus, no wire, no battery. So basically, you think, like, why? Well, it costs a lot of money to put all of those wires in a bus. And it's also not reliable from a maintenance standpoint. Uh, these things is where more maintenance. There is no battery, no wire. You just replace the bus stop. Uh, and that uh, allowed to have a better, a better system for bus, uh, bus users and, and company putting those bus on the field. Uh, finally, we're moving. Okay, we're adding things. We're looking into the space of, uh, of the home, of the home now, smart home. We're also looking in the space of household appliances, remote control. So there's a lot of things that today are wireless already, but have a battery. And we're aiming to remove this battery. As I said, that's my challenge. Okay, how do we do that? Uh, I won't go into the physics or into, I won't give you a tutorial of electronic, but it's basically what you need. You need to master this energy converter, and we, you need to know how to master a Peltier element or a small PV or, or an electromechanical element. We need to play with the energy management and be very greedy when it comes to uh, uh, the few joules that we extract uh, or we harvest. Then you need a microcontroller, obviously, and a radio. And with that, you send a signal. You send a signal to basically an actuator, and something will happen. You will turn on and off a van. Uh, you, would, you would send a temperature to a thermostat. You would switch on and off or dim on and off a switch. So those are the actions we do. The things in the middle here is what I call standardization. An ocean, as I said, is the only standard available out there for a no battery or ultra low power wireless system. That's what we stand for. So some more challenge, obviously. Uh, we keep investing. We keep doing research, specifically addressing the cost element, because as we grow and want to grow further, we need to do cost reduction in what we do. But we also move more into the from, uh, from energy sensors to or energy harvesting sensors to actuators and make sure that we can as well uh, do some um, actuators without, without uh, battery and without wires. Uh, deployment. Uh, pretty much in all places in the world already, insisting on China and Japan right now. And looking for new application up the wave. That's how I would call this slide. So looking for new application, moving into new domain, developing new pillar of growth outside of this building automation pillar that we mastered already. Thanks for your, thanks for your attention.